When making a one by one rib cast on with one knit stitch on both ends, hook the needle with your finger and then do double knitting for only one row. On the other hand, when making a one by one rib with two knit stitches on the right end and one knit stitch on the left end, or a cast on of a two by two rib, you have to knit double knitting in two rows. What is this difference? The bottom line is whether you need to switch the front and back of the edge stitch. Double knitting is a knitting method that creates a ring shaped structure with two needles. If you knit one row, you will make a half turn, and if you knit two rows, you will make a round. If the row of stitches on the needle actually has a loop structure, the end stitch can be either knit stitch or purl stitch with a slight shift in position. In the case of one by one rib with two knit stitches on the right end, or two by two rib which is a modified version of it, it is necessary to knit two rows of double knitting and make a round because it is necessary to switch between knit stitch and purl stitch. In the case of one by one rib with one knit stitch on both ends, this operation is not necessary, so it is not necessary to go around double knitting, and one row knitting is sufficient. As mentioned above, whether or not it is necessary to make a loop structure depends on whether or not the front and back of the end stitch is switched, and in order to make a loop structure, it is necessary to knit two rows of double knitting and go around. If you would like to gain a better understanding of rib stitch as a whole, please see the commentary video posted earlier. Thank you for your viewing.